Hey everyone, it's Melissa with Big Universe Music. And today we're gonna to be learning a song called Stand By Me by Ben E. King. Um, this is a really fun song to play on the guitar. And of course a classic song to sing along with. So if you wanna play along with me, all you have to do is download the worksheet that I put a link in the description to. So go ahead and grab that. All you have to do is send me your email address for it. And you'll get a uh, PDF of Stand By Me. And I'm going to screen share that for us today in our lesson so that you can play along right now, even if you don't download the worksheet. All right, so go ahead and grab that worksheet. If you like our lessons here, my lessons, and you want to support, you can send a tip or send me an email and sign up for a private lesson. And I'd love to get you all set up. Uh, with some more uh, learning music. So let's get into it. First things first, sharing the screen. Yes. All right, what we're looking at today is the tab and chords for Stand By Me by Ben E. King. So the song opens up with this line that starts on the third fret of the fifth string two times. <laughs> then once on the third fret of the sixth string, then second fret of the fifth string, then back to the third fret of the fifth string. So it goes like this. Then we'll move forward to the third fret of the fifth string, second fret of the fifth string, open fifth string three times and then the third fret of the sixth string so let's try that whole first line of tab we have <laughs> and that brings us to our second line of tab open fifth string three times third fret of your sixth string first fret of your sixth string three times open fifth string third fret of your fifth string a sixth string I mean then second fret of your fifth string then third fret of your fifth string. And lastly, sixth string, third fret, fifth string, second fret, and fifth string, third fret. Okay, I do understand that this will probably take you some time alone to master, but I'll try my very best to go really slow right now. Let's play that opening riff of Stand By Me. One, two, nice and slow. Awesome. That brings us to the part where we play chords. We have four chords in this song. C chord. A minor chord. F chord. And G chord. And just for fun, I'll add this fact today, fun fact. The C chord is what we call our one chord. The, six, uh, the A minor chord is what we call our six chord. F is our four chord and G is our five chord. One, six, four, five. A 
pretty common chord progression in pop and rock music. So let's uh, play through each one of those chords. So our C chord is going to have our first finger on the first fret, second string, second finger, second fret, fourth string, third finger, third fret, fifth string. A minor, all we're going to do to get to the A minor from C is move our ring finger from the fifth string to the third string. Good. Now we have our F chord. Ah, this is everyone's favorite chord. So I'm going to give you a couple options. Some people call it the frenemy. So you can either bar the whole first fret and then make the E major shape which is your middle finger on the second fret, third string, ring finger on the third fret, fifth string, and pinky on the third fret, fourth string. Or you can release the bar and just bar the top two notes like the drawing here. Or you can release these two notes and just play the first three strings. And if you're really struggling with that, you can just play the first fret of the sixth string by itself. So that would be like, there's C, A minor, and then here's just the note F by itself. Not too bad, right? Okay, so we've done C. A minor F and then G. Our G chord, pointer finger, second fret, fifth string, middle finger, third fret, sixth string, and I like to use my ring finger and my pinky for G, so I'd be adding it here. So I'll put my ring finger on the third fret, second string, and my pinky on the third fret, first string. Fills it out a little bit more. I like to have more uh, fretted notes than open strings. All right, so those are our chords in the song. If you need to, you can go ahead and pause here. This might be as far as you get today. You get to play the opening riff. And then you get to go through all the chords. But if you're feeling up for it, let's go forward to our chord progression. So the song is pretty cool because it has the same chord progression repeating throughout the whole song. C for two measures, A minor for two measures, F for one, G for one, and then C for two. So that sounds like this. Like that for the entire song. Okay, for the strumming pattern, I'm simply doing down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. If you want kind of like a rock and roll feel, you can just do down. And the land is dark. But either way, if you do down, up, down, up, down, up, you get a, the same rhythm. If you just straight down, you get a little more kind of tension building. Okay, sweet. That's all there is to it. It's just a really simple song um, with great lyrics, a beautiful melody, and this awesome opening riff. So I'm going to pull, I'm going to leave this up. And then uh, let's try playing the riff one more time. And then I'll close it. And then we'll try playing everything together. All right, here's that opening riff. Ready? One, Three, four. Good, all right.
right, hopefully you have that in your memory or print it out, because here we go with all of Stand By Me by Ben E. King, and I'll even sing it for you today. Here we go. One, two, from the beginning. Awesome. That's how I play Stand By Me. I really hope you enjoyed today's lesson. Thank you so much for joining and I'll see you next time.